two storms in the entire viewing area, and one of them happens to be right over Charlotte, which probably was prompted by an urban heat on. I'll talk about that in a minute. This is a little, I'm going to geek out a little bit here because this is the Doppler winds. See the circular nature? So what's happening, this thunderstorm is pushing out a, a downburst to the surface. It's spreading out in all directions. Now, it's not dangerous winds, but it is a completely circular outflow boundary. So this storm is producing some cool air, which is rushing out in all directions. You can see that as no, over Idlewild heading towards Plaza, uh, heading out towards a, a areas towards Mint Hill now, heading towards Harrisburg, the track, as well as the university area. So this is racing up uh, 85 here. This is really the only action in town other than this other storm, which is in Chesterfield County. Now, when I widen this back out, I'll show you the isolated nature. There are two whole storms in the whole area, one over Charlotte and one over Chesterfield County. That's it. We widen the view even more. It's pretty nice. We've got mostly sunny skies, a few clouds here, and then two storms in the whole area. Now the heat, that's the story today. Temperatures back in the mid to upper 80s. We talked about the urban heat on. You've probably heard this term before. In the city, because of all the concrete, steel buildings, the roads, there's less green space. It absorbs heat during the day and gets hotter. And what happens in a scenario like today, that heat actually creates a thermal or lift and can actually help produce a thunderstorm under right conditions. So the city itself helped produce that thunderstorm today thanks to this urban heat on. This is also why it's warmer in the city during the day and at night, especially in the summer when we have clear skies. That's why having more green space keeps the city cooler, trees and parks.